Hello, everybody. My name is Elijah Hopkins. I'm the Vice President for Student Services here at Fort Peck Community College. Um, and I want to create a quick video as a tutorial, a guide uh, for students, even employees, as we guide students to getting them to be familiar with uh, the new Canvas LMS system. LMS stands for Learning Management System. It's super important that we get familiar with um, this product because it's going to be the way that all of our classes for the most part are going to be delivered through this this learning management system um, especially in a hybrid online environment so um, just so you know every student will have your own account and you need to know how to access what it does and this video will hopefully help explain that so the first logical place to start is what is canvas and then where where do we access it so if you go to our, our webpage, fpcc.edu, uh, this is the best place to start. Um, and then right at the top, there's a hot link, FPCC Canvas. So all students, we would direct you to this link. It'll redirect you right to here. Here's the actual web address. So when you get to this point, if you're a first time user and you've never been in Canvas with your ID and password yet, first time, right where it says id number put your student id number that's specific for you okay and then again if you're a first time user and you've never been in here click forgot password first this is the first time you'll have to do that and at that point a temporary password will be sent to your student email address so get into your student email address you'll, you'll activate your your account with that uh that temporary password and at that point you can create a new password that's how you'll access it. And then in the future, if you ever forget your password, you know where to go and you know how to get it again. So and that's how you'll log in. And then at that point, uh, I think the best place to get you started is with a, a quick student orientation video. Um, let's see here, we'll have to stop the share real quick. And just so you get some audio. Welcome to your Canvas online classroom. Let's take a look around so you're familiar with where to find the things you want to do and access your important course information. When you first log in, you'll find yourself on the dashboard. This view will show you course cards for each of your current courses. The course cards show you the name of the course and the term. The icons also show you some information about what's in the course. For example, this one shows me there are course announcements and discussions. You can click on any card to enter the course and get to work. On the right side of the dashboard, you can see your to-do list. This will show you assignments, quizzes, and discussions that have a due date. It's important to remember that not every course activity will show on this list, just the items that have a due date set in Canvas. For this reason, you can't rely on this list to show you everything you need to do in your course. Be sure to read the syllabus and course materials carefully to find requirements that aren't set up with a due date in Canvas. When you find them, Consider adding them to your course calendar yourself, as we'll see later. For example, the to-do list may show a quiz that needs to be taken, but you may still need to read a chapter or watch a video before you can complete the quiz. Scrolling down, you also have a coming up list. This will show you upcoming items from your Canvas calendar. There are some things that you can customize on the dashboard. You can click this menu button at the top right corner of the course card to give the course a custom nickname and color. Additionally, clicking on the Settings button above will allow you to change the dashboard from the Course Card view to Recent Activity. This view will show you a summary of recent assignment feedback, course announcements, discussion posts, and other course activity. Keep in mind that your dashboard doesn't show you all your Canvas courses, just your current active courses. To find other courses and set which ones will show on your dashboard, click the Courses icon on the left and click the All Courses link. This will show you all the courses you're in or ever have been in. Current courses are at the top and past enrollments are listed below. Click the star icon on the left to select which courses you want to show or remove from your dashboard view. The items in the blue bar on the left of the screen are your global navigation items. These items are part of Canvas, but not specific to any one course. Next, let's take a look at your account settings. Click Account and click Profile. Click the Edit button to set up your profile. 
you can add a picture of yourself, edit your display name, and add biographic information and links you want your classmates and instructors to have. Save your profile information and click Settings from the menu. Your account settings are an important part of keeping up with course communications. Here you can add additional email addresses that you'd like to be notified at. If you've set up the mobile app, you'll see that here under Other Contacts. And you can even set up your phone to receive text message notifications here as well. You can also choose to link up any of these web services. Once you've set up all the different ways Canvas can contact you, click Notifications to customize when and where it will notify you. In the Notifications page, you can be specific about what you want to be notified about, how often, and on which device. For email, you can choose to be notified right away, with a daily summary, with a weekly summary, or not at all. In the second column, you can choose what to be notified about in the Canvas app. You will need to set this up on your device first. And if you set up a text message number, that will show up in a third column on the right. Some notifications I choose to leave turned off, because I'll see them in my course. And some, I'm okay getting an email summary at the end of the day, like when an assignment's been graded, or my instructor left a submission comment. But there are a few things that I recommend setting immediate notifications for, specifically when your teacher posts a new course announcement, and when someone sends you a conversation message. That's like an email message in Canvas. Those things you want to be up to date on all the time. Discussion posts might be a good one to turn on in the Canvas app. This will send you a notification when someone posts on a discussion topic you're subscribed to. Then you can even respond right away in the app if you have the time. Next, let's take a look at your Canvas calendar. Click Calendar on your global navigation menu. The calendar will show you items that have a due date, like assignments, quizzes, and discussions. As I mentioned before, this is where you can add your own custom calendar events by clicking on the plus button or just clicking on the day you want to add an event. This is useful if you want to remember to do something, like read a chapter in your book. If you need to post on a class discussion on Tuesday, even if it's not due until Friday. Or if you have something due in class that doesn't have a due date set in Canvas. Remember that the Canvas calendar will only show you the final due dates by default, not the preparatory steps leading up to it, so it's wise to add those yourself. You can view your calendar in either weekly, monthly, or agenda view. And your instructor might use the scheduler tool to schedule appointments for something like exam review or class presentations. You can filter your calendar by turning courses on and off by clicking on the color-coded boxes next to the course name. And finally, if you use another calendar program like Google Calendar, Outlook, or iCal, you can subscribe to your Canvas calendar in your other program using the calendar feed link. The Inbox tool is where you can see your conversation messages. This is like email inside of Canvas. Select a message on the left to read it. If you have too many messages, you can filter them by course or by other criteria like starred or unread. The tools across the top allow you to start a new message, reply, archive, and delete your messages. You can even search them to find the information you're looking for. When writing a new message, first select the course the message is about, then choose the recipients from the directory. You can send messages to your instructor and other students in your course through Canvas. You can even add attachments and videos to your messages. Let's take a look inside one of the courses. We'll start by looking at some of the basic parts of the homepage before moving on. On the left is your course navigation menu. This is all items that are specific to this course. And on the right side, we have the to do and coming up lists again, but this time with just the items from this course. In the center is the main content area. Here you will usually see a welcome message or some basic course information. All instructors may build their course slightly differently, so be sure to read the homepage content carefully and look for instructions on how they want you to get started. In this case, the instructor has given us a nice Start Here button. Here the button has taken us to the module view. If the instructor hasn't given you a clear path to get started, you can always come straight to the Module view by clicking on the Module button in the course navigation. Modules are the primary way of organizing your course content. Sometimes modules will be organized by subjects, chapters in the textbook, or by weeks. Here we have an Orientation module, followed by the Week 2 module. 
so it appears that this instructor has organized his course modules by weeks. Modules are a way for an instructor to guide you through the course content in order. In this example, you're expected to view the Week 2 overview, do the Module 1 reading, and view the Module 1 lecture before taking the Module 1 quiz. The first item in this module is the syllabus information, followed by an introduction video page and a discussion. Let's take a look. Here's the syllabus information page. I can read through all this important course information, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Next button to move on to the next item in the module. Here we see the introduction video as promised. At the bottom of this page, we see there is a Next button to move to the next item in the module, as well as a Previous button if we need to go back one item. You will always have a Next and Previous buttons at the bottom of the page to move through your module items. Looking back at the module view, we can see that there are several different icons that represent different types of module items, like content pages, discussions, quizzes, and assignments. You may also notice that the Week 3 module is locked because I need to finish Week 2 first. It's also important to keep track of your grades in your course. Click the Grades button in the course navigation to see your progress. In the Grades view, we can see all the graded items in the course listed by due dates. We can see the due dates, the status, the score, and the possible points. If your instructor has set up weighted assignment groups, you'll be able to see that on the right side. The grades view is also interactive. You can enter temporary what-if scores to see how specific scores might affect your overall grade. For example, if I get full points on this first assignment, I would have an A in the class. But if I only score 20, I would have a C. Ugh, I better study. Our instructor put the syllabus information in the orientation module, but you can also access this information by clicking the Syllabus Tool button in the course navigation. This is a great tool because it shows you so much information about the course all in one place. In the center, you have the syllabus information that the instructor has provided. On the right side, you'll see a summary view calendar showing what dates have items due, and a list of the assignment group weights. Scrolling down, we have a course summary listing all the items that are graded in Canvas, sorted by due date. Between the module content, course calendar, course announcements, syllabus, and email and mobile notifications, you'll always know what you need to do to be successful in your Canvas course. Finally, if you ever do need help in your course, you can come to the bottom of the global navigation area and click the Help button. Here you can ask Super your instructor important. a question by sending them an inbox message. Definitely Report the problem straight to Canvas if you think it's a technology problem. Call or chat out. with the 24-7 Canvas support. Or search the Canvas guides to learn more. The Canvas guides are a series of print and video tutorials that can show you all you would ever need to know about how Canvas works. It's usually a good idea to start there if you're having a problem. Then message the instructor if you can't find the answer. Thanks for joining me on this tour of your Canvas online classroom. I know we've talked about a lot of things, so feel free to come back and visit. The tag... Okay, so I think that's probably... Gives you a good overview of what you need to know in terms of how to access, what it's going to look like. Um, and naturally, every student's going to have a slightly different look because they can customize it, and then your courses are going to be a little different, obviously. Uh, and every faculty member can customize their courses a little bit differently, but you have a general idea in how to um, go about getting help within Canvas. Super important that you get familiar with that, take advantage of that. Um, there's also one other um, resource that I think is super helpful once you get access and you're in the system. There's a student orientation course that is at a self-paced course that I think you'll find pretty helpful. Um, share the screen here again, and I believe it is right here. So once you're, you're in the system, um, I will send every student this link again, but it's located right up on the left-hand corner of the screen here and passport to Canvas student training. Just follow this, you'll go through all the modules, kind of gives you an overview of everything that you need to know. Um, but it's self-paced and it'll take you a little while to get through it, but at least you know what to expect. So uh, with that, I will conclude the video.
if you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to get a hold of us at Student Services, and we'll try and help you navigate through the, the experience. So thank you.